This small deep sea anglerfish, Chonocops coloratus, was first observed at Davidson Seamount in 2002 by scientists from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, and Moss Landing Marine Laboratories. Although it was first described from a single specimen collected off Panama in 1899, we had no idea that these fish existed in our waters off California, far to the north. In fact, it took us a while to figure out exactly what species this fish was, and to do so, we needed help from several ichthyologists. In 2010, we observed six more at Taney Seamounts, also off California. We were able to collect specimens and make observations about behavior which had never been done before. We realized immediately that not all of these were red or rose colored as we had previously thought they should be. Some were actually blue. We believe the larger, mature looking fish are red while the smaller, immature fish are blue, and we propose that this notable color change is associated with age and a transition from a drifting juvenile phase to a benthic adult phase. Often, when startled by our remotely operated vehicle, an escape response was elicited and the fish bolted from the seafloor straight up in a great burst of speed. We timed one of these ascents and found that this little fish could travel as fast as 7 feet per minute. We also observed a maneuvering behavior akin to walking, which is quite common among its shallow water siblings, the frogfish. Scientists think that walking is more energy efficient than swimming and that it also disturbs the surrounding seawater less reducing the chances of startling nearby prey. One of the remarkable traits that all of the anglerfish have in common is the ability to fish for prey. The anglerfish deploys a lure, called an esca, which it dangles from the end of a modified dorsal fin ray, called an elysium. We observed one of these anglerfish deploying its shaggy, mop-like lure just above its mouth. It deployed its lure for about 25 seconds and then stowed it in its elysial cavity after an unsuccessful attempt at attracting prey. We also used traditional measurements and modern molecular tools to verify that this species was what we thought it was and to verify its relationship to the other fishes within its family. These seven observations by Ambari are the first and only time this species has ever been observed alive in its natural habitat at depths of 7,500 to nearly 11,000 feet below the ocean's surface. We use these modern tools to show that the scientist who originally described this species way back in 1899 got it right. For Ambari, this is Lonnie Lunston.